good day, YouTube universe. It's me again. Thought I'd do a quick little video to try to make up for the uh, horrible disaster of a video I tried to make up for you guys this weekend on my my ride to benefit children of military veterans. Turns out I'm not that great at this whole process yet. I got a lot to learn. A couple of things I learned on Saturday. <clears throat> First thing is make sure you charge your camera. Camera doesn't work very well if it, uh, it don't have any power. So that uh, turned out to be kind of a slight pofa, pofa, faux pas. I think that's the word I'm looking for, or expression, faux pas. Any who's. Uh, so I did some recording. Um, none of it turned out worth a crap due to the uh, system I was using to mount my camera on my motorcycle. So I really got no footage that could be usable. Uh, you know my theme, raw video folks, raw video. So I'm not doing a bunch of editing and try to make it pretty and, and you know, do all those silly things. I, that's just not, I don't have time for it. So I just decided to scratch that whole video and uh, I just thought I would just wing it without the motorcycle today. But here's the good news. <clears throat> And I know you knew that there was some good news, and there certainly is some good news. First of all, I would just like to uh, thank our sponsors today. I'm just kidding, I don't have any sponsors, <clears throat> but, uh, but I'm going to drink this cold adult beverage as we do the video. Anyway, so like I said, my mounting options for my camera were very limited. And you could tell from a couple of my first videos, you know, I tried moving the camera around in a uh, very limited capacity to try to get uh, good video, writing video, um, writing shots. Didn't really work out that great. So what I did was what any red-blooded American male would do. I got on Amazon and I ordered me a uh, ordered me a little kit full of mounting gear for. Uh, for my adventure camera. I don't want to say the name of the camera because, well, again, we don't have any sponsorships here and I ain't selling nothing for anybody, so <clears throat> simply not gonna mention what kind of adventure camera that I use. But I ordered a little kit, and I'm sure it was made in China, like everything is made these days. <clears throat> hey dog, will you go play somewhere? Kids. And, uh, I ordered this little kit. It's a 55, I think it's a 55 piece kit. It was like $19 on Amazon. Which is amazing that you can get that kind of uh, inexpensive gear. And again, I'm, I'm a part-timer, I'm no professional. I don't know if this camera, I'm gonna adjust this real quick. It's kinda hot out here. I think the camera is fogging up. It's probably from this high stress business of YouTube video making. The camera can't take the pressure. Anyway, I ordered this little kit <clears throat> from Amazon. It took approximately 48 hours for this to show up at my doorstep. And for sake of, oops, I opened it upside down. For sake of people thinking that I am trying to sell something here, I'm not gonna tell you the name of this kit either because it's really not important what the name of the kit is or who makes it. Again, it's made in China or Taiwan, I'm sure. But this thing has 55 pieces of mounting accessories for the GoPro camera. Ho, ho, ho. I said the GoPro, not necessarily use a GoPro. I just said that because that's what people say. They say GoPro. I'm saying adventure camera, okay? Just for the record. But anyway, this thing has 55 pieces. It's awesome. It has, I mean, I can't even come up with all the ways that I'm going to be able to film stuff now with all this gear. But there's a little tripod. There's a selfie stick. You know, a, I don't know what you call this. A telescoping stick. It came with mounts for your helmet. So you can just mount it right to your helmet. It came with gear to put on your chest and a little bag to put it all in. 
It's got a little buoy so that if you go in the water, it floats. If you drop your camera, it's got uh, a chest rig, you know, so you can wear it on your chest. It's got this clip so you can put your camera on there and slip it into like a backpack strap or, you know, you can use it on this table. You can use it all over the place. It's got a headband. It's got a wristband. It's got a suction cup. And I think this is going to be important because... This can stick on my fairing, my fender, my gas tank, and then I'm going to be able to get a lot of really great shots with this little doohickey, right? That's going to be awesome. So what I guess I'm trying to say is you guys are in for some really great videos coming up now that I have the proper $20 equipment to do videos for you. That's what I'm saying. So anyway, when I get time to... Uh, Put this stuff on the bike, go for a quick ride or two, get, a, get some shots, then, uh, you know, we'll revisit this whole making motorcycle riding videos. Now that I got all kinds of awesome gear here for it, it should, uh, should be great. So enough about that. And in true <clears throat> man fashion, oh, I can't reach it. Got it saved it. You saw it right here on YouTube, folks. Saved that selfie stick from certain destruction. But anyway, I bought a few other things on Amazon while I was perusing because Amazon makes it so easy. I actually think uh, Amazon in Latin is translated suckers because you get on there, you start seeing all this stuff. Next thing you know, you got to buy all this stuff and buy stuff you didn't even know you needed but that brings me to my next item which I've been wanting to get for a while and that is a little travel humidor for cigars all my good friends and buddies have these things we go places <clears throat> and they uh, bust them open and they get their cigars out and they're like, hey, you want a cigar? Because I never have any because I don't have a travel humidor. And then I say, yeah, I'll, I'll have one of your cigars. Why not? And then you just feel like a bum all the time. So I'm just always bumming smokes off of people. I feel like I'm in prison trading it for, you know, commissary or something. But uh, but I got one of these little bad boys on Amazon, of course. And it, uh, it didn't come with the super cool graphics. Okay, didn't come with that. Also got this on the back here because Tesla is the number one rock band in the world, have been for 35 years. But uh, I put that on there. I dressed it up a little bit right as soon as I got it because that's what you do. You got to customize things, make them cool. But again, I think I paid I paid under twenty dollars for this little uh, travel humidor, and it is a uh, five cigar humidor, which is for me I don't smoke that many cigars and then uh, I got these cool little uh, gel things for keeping the uh, humidity right because I mean really what's the point of having a humidor if you're not going to keep the humidity right that's what a humidor does keeps them fresh keeps them fresh so that when you get ready to smoke one you got nice fresh soft cigars and so to smoke a cigar you had to have a couple of things you gotta have a lighter or match but you gotta have fire <clears throat> you gotta have a way to cut or punch the end of the cigar so I happen to purchase a couple of little handy dandy items that are gonna make that a whole lot easier Again, I'm not going to tell you the brand if you see it on there, so what, but I'm not going to say what it is, but I'm going to get a couple of these uh, items because, well, every man, woman, and child should have a cigar cutter and a cigar lighter. So that's a handy dandy little cutter that I got. I like it a lot. I think it's well worth the price. Cut that cigar end off. Nice. Nice little cut there. Didn't smash it. Didn't uh, leak all my tobacco out. 
And then the next thing I got <clears throat> was this, well, no, I didn't get this lighter. There's the hitch right there, see? It's always a hitch with me. What I got was the insert for the lighter. Okay. It's just a butane Zippo lighter insert that goes into your favorite Zippo lighter body. But what it does, it makes it a uh, cigar friendly double flame butane lighter. And I don't know if you can see that. But uh, yeah. So if you don't have a wooden match and you don't want to have your cigar taste like lighter fluid, you can use this butane lighter and it. Uh, burns cleaner I guess and doesn't like absorb the lighter fluid and doesn't smell like lighter fluid so that's good Yeah, that baby works. Lift that bad boy right up. So anyway, just a quick video. I'm trying to give the fans what they want. I don't know if I mentioned, but I, <clears throat> I'm in double digits of subscribers now. So this thing is really rocket shipped off on me, man. It's taken off, and uh, you know I'm trying to keep it under control because you know you don't want all that success to go to your head. But, uh, yeah, I'm feeling the pressure. I'm feeling the pressure now. I've got a couple hundred views on my videos. Like 20 subscribers now. Maybe 21. I don't know. But uh, I'm just holding on, man. Holding on for eight seconds. Try not to let this prize bull throw me off. The prize bull known as YouTube success. So I'm going to have a celebratory cigar that I just lit and cut and kept in my brand new gear that I got from Amazon. I'm going to enjoy this cigar, my victory cigar. And I'm going to film you guys some super cool videos with my new gear for my adventure camera that I just briefly showed to you there. So much of it, look at this. So much of it, I can't even get it back in the doggone box. It did come with that soft-sided nylon, rigid, I guess it's soft-sided, but it's kind of a rigid case to carry all that junk in. But I'm going to thin that junk out and only use what I really need to bring you the most awesome videos known to human mankind. Yeah, I hope you enjoy them. That's what I hope. So, I'm going to sit back and enjoy my cigar. Tasty, ice-cold adult beverage. Look at how sweaty that is. I'm telling you, it's hot out here. Man. It's like a heat index of like 107. This is the Midwest. It ain't supposed to be so hot like this. <clears throat> but anywho's, I'm going to go ahead and call this. So, till next time, be safe, be kind to your neighbor, thank God for everything you got. Roll Tide. Later. I'm back. I wanted you to listen to this for a minute. I better take that. Peace out.